Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to keep going out and about and seeing if we can uh, find the hunters. Uh, so, let's see here. I uh, I very much am, am very happy to announce that I stand corrected about not being able to catch largemouth bass in this lake. I actually, believe it or not, caught two in a row. Here's a, a clip from the first one that I caught. And then right after I caught that one, I caught another one. I mean, literally the next fish was another one. So I've got all these fillets in here, uh, and I do have them lined up in the order in which they were caught uh, from oldest to newest. So um, let's go ahead and actually eat that right now, and that will get us should get us pretty much topped off all the way yeah, on our protein, which is good. Um, I'm going to take another drink of this just to get that topped off before we go out and about. And let's... Uh, get that going i don't remember guys if i had made the rifle in the last episode or not but if i didn't well there you go uh, we now have the rifle i think i think we did i can't remember it's yeah my, my brain's just not working this morning um but anyway we have the rifle now and so we have nine actually ten rounds because we have one in the chamber uh so we're doing pretty good on that as well so let's get this in here and yeah, so the goal for today is to go out and oh, we got the we got this lock pick now too. Um, we made a new lock pick. Um, so to go out and find a locked crate and see if we can find where the other hunters are. So last night, um, there's a fire right here. That could just be a rogue, but we should go investigate and see. Um, and then there was there's also a fire right here, way off uh, this direction. Uh, so we want to go check those out. We know the fire here is an actual hunter base uh, because we saw the platform. So we know that's where one of them are going to be. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll swim across here and go check out this location and then maybe kind of, you know, swing up uh, back around through this way and uh, check out this location and, and maybe, you know, look for a lock crate on the outskirts of the the birchwood forest okay so that is the plan for today let's get started um as usual we're a little bit low on carbs but not terribly low so we'll look for uh, some kelp as we swim across and then also you know strawberries and blueberries and the usual stuff as we go along uh, i am wanting to as soon as we i did i believe i did mention to this to you guys as soon as we can come across a tomato seed, then we're going to get that crop plot built next and uh, start growing tomatoes. And that's going to help uh, tremendously with keeping our carbs in check. Okay, so I don't see any kelp, uh, obtainable kelp anyways, anywhere nearby. So let's just kind of run along the shore here, but just be careful as always. Well, we try to be careful. Sometimes we're not, but we try to be. There's a bear up there and a chicken. It's a bit early to be grabbing a chicken. Um, yeah, because I'm. if all goes well today, I'm planning on being out for a while. So let's just leave that chicken. Uh, I'm not going after a fiber plant with a bear walking towards it. It's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it, man. So nothing's going on up around in here. Uh, I don't think we want to get too close over that way because their their platform's not too far away from there. Uh, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's a little further in. Got an ammo crate here. Let's see what we get. Some more nine rounds, that's good. All right. Now, where are these guys' platform again? I thought it was kind of over more on this end. Okay, I do see a hunter walking way over there. You guys probably can't see him because he just, he just went behind the bushes. Yeah, there's their base right there. Okay. Let's go up here a little bit uh, 
I'm not sure where that's coming from. Let's run this way. Yeah, bear right up over the hill there. Okay, so it's still too early to tell which one of the hunters the, those guys are going to be. My guess is that they're probably going to be an Alpha or a Bravo, but... And the reason I say that is because usually Charlie starts putting down a whole bunch of platforms. And it becomes pretty obvious pretty soon uh, that it's Charlie. Okay, so let's keep moving this direction. Uh, I'm going to look at the map again. So yeah, these guys are going to be right here. Uh, there's You can barely see the campfire. Um, But they could be rogues. Oh, wait, they are rogues. Okay. Uh, well, I think they're rogues. They don't have shirts, or one of them doesn't have a shirt on. Well, actually, neither one of them do. The one dude's just got a chest on, or uh, I'm sorry, a vest. Okay, so those are just rogues. So that's not going to be a normal hunter camp there. Let's steer clear of Mr. Bear here. Okay, we'll kind of go through the Birchwood Forest, but we'll stay more on the outskirts, so I don't want to get too close to those guys. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so they got a platform, a ramp, and a wall up so far. Oh, there's our locked crate that we need. Oh, man, I don't know if I want to shoot that wolf that close to them. It'll probably alert them. Let's draw the wolf away. We got a, a building crate there, too. And a damn bear. All right, so what we're going to do is run this way and then kind of circle back around the base of this hill. Okay, there's the wolf. Here's the building crate. He didn't really get very far away from the locked crate, did he? Little bastard. The bear's right there. I'm just I'm just a little bit leery of shooting him that close to the hunter camp because it could alert them. Let's just back him up this way a bit. Oh, shit. Okay, he's chasing us now, which is good because we're just going to draw. Oh, no, don't go by the rogues. Quit chasing me, asshole. Okay, let's come around this way. We still need to be mindful of the bear that's just around the corner that way. He's right there. Okay, but it's, he's facing the other direction. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Give us some tomato seeds, please. No tomato seeds, but we got some sinew, which is good. Very good. And we got some more um, rifle ammo. Yeah, that's actually not a bad haul at all. And we also have enough weapons parts now to make a magnum, too which we shall do. Okay, good. We found our locked crate. That was one of our goals for today. So let's move this way. Um, we still got the bear right there and the wolf right there, so... I want to go back over to the other place across the lake. Uh, you know, that was kind of to the the north of us, north uh, east of us, and see if that's 
if those are rogues or if that's a new hunter camp. Turn around, go the other way. There you go. Okay, Hunter's up on his platform. But here again, let's not mix it up with them until it's worth doing so. Meaning they have a loot crate that we can get. So I think we kind of ran through here yesterday and didn't see anything, but you know, for in terms of any new platforms going up. But we didn't really get over into that area by the by the pond. So let's kind of go through there because that is along the way to where that other place I wanted to check. Uh, we're gonna eat this now. And I think I'm going to eat these now, too. Let's just do it. Let's do it and get her done. Okay, I want to be careful because it's quite possible that the another group of hunters is going to be in this area. Uh, I hear, oh, there he is. Okay. It's going to say, I hear a wolf. I don't see it. Okay. I don't see anything in this little pasture area here. Got a couple of crates over by a bear. Yeah, keep walking that way, man. Keep on walking. No, not that way. All right, that's a medical crate there. Guarded by a level three grizzly. Let's just see if he keeps walking that way. Come on, man. Go away. Okay, let's go. He's still tracking us, so I'm not going to stop for that ore. Okay, so let's see here. Got a couple of uh, fibers over here. Let's grab those. Let's grab this copper. Make sure that wolf's not coming over this way. are hot this uh what is it it's june okay here's an onion and a blueberry very good take that and a medicinal another crate okay let's eat the apple and the blueberries and the protein bar. All right, we're not in terrible shape, food food wise. Not in terrible shape. We got a chicken up here. Let's go ahead and start killing some small game when we come across them. 
um, because it's getting on in the day and we should be able to oh man he stopped at least our arrow didn't break let's make sure we can recover it it landed right over in here somewhere I thought well that's gonna be hard to find in these bushes It didn't make the breaking sound. We're just kind of sweeping back and forth here. Is that it? No? Uh, alright, well. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, good. Yeah, arrows are precious, man. We don't want to lose them if we don't have to. And I wish that we had a chance to recover them even when we did get the animal. Just about every other survival game I play you know has that mechanic but not this one you hit the animal the arrow's gone there you are all right come on food we'll have some ch oh good he's alive too we'll have some chicken for dinner Okay, let's start moving this direction. Um, like I said, here, let's look at the map. All right, I'm not, I'm no longer seeing a fireplace. Or, or a campfire, I should say. But I want to say it was like right around in this area here. Okay. So we just need to kind of be alert just looking for any kelp down here I don't see any there's some more dinner and that one's alive too excellent see some blueberries over that way I need to set up that uh animal trap again that's on the to-do list among a hundred other things we have two strawberries let's eat both of them and that should help quite a bit with carbs all right now let's be very careful as we start moving through this area because there could be a permanent hunter base There's a bear right up here, too, that we have to be careful of. Okay, I think those are just rogues, because dude doesn't have a shirt on. I don't see any kind of platform. Okay, so we figured that out. So we still don't know where the other two hunters are. We only know where one permanent hunter is so far. All right, let's get let's avoid the rogues. They're just going to cause us to waste our ammo and they're not going to give us anything real good. The one thing the rogues do tend to give is uh gears uh which will come in handy later. We need those for like breaching charges, I think. I don't know if they're used for anything else but that, but those are important for when we start raiding. All right. I don't see any kelp in the in an obtainable spot. So let's head back to the vase. We're going to cook up these two chickens that we have and then figure out what our next maneuver is going to be. And also, yeah, we want to drop off all this valuable loot that we got from the uh, from the crate, the locked crate. I'm going to um, loot the island and get the trees. Okay, let's put some wood in here. Uh, take a drink and refill that. We'll get our chickens cooking up. Now, do I still have some fillets left? Nope, they all went bad. Shit. Okay, that's all right. Um, let's put this in this in there and this. That's all new stuff. And then I think I have room for all the rest of. The oh no, we want the ore to go in the smelter. All the rest of this can go in here for now. Okay, so we're up to 11 
medicinal tonics. That means we should, could, and should probably make a health kit. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's make ourselves a health kit. Uh, we need that, that, and um, this. And we have five bandages just from loot, so that's that's good. Um, we're going to put this in here. And we have full uh, power and stuff. So, you know what I think I'm going to do is let's go ahead and make one of these now. Uh, because we have some cotton seed. I want to get started on the cotton because we're going to need it for the armor and for the winter clothing. Um, so, let's see, eight cordage, six of those. Here, let's just grab all of that. And then also we need some boards here. All right, let's grab those and eat them now. That'll top off our protein. We'll be here. We're in good shape there. Uh, also, I want to get some more water going. So what we'll do is we'll plant um, the cotton in the in the crop plot and anything else that we currently have. And, you know, of course, we'll be making more than one crop plot. So when we come across tomato seeds, we can make a second. Uh, we also really need to get a bed going, too, though. Hmm. Eh, what is it? It's June. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's get the bed going first, because that way we have a spawn point. I think that's what we should do next, actually. All right. It's been done. Then we'll have a spawn point. Okay. Let's put the water in here. So after that, the next thing on the list is a crop plot. And maybe by that point in time, we'll actually have um, some tomato seeds to put in there. Very good. Okay, let's take and put our bed uh, just over here for now. Should be fine. It's pretty straight there. All right, and then we need... Uh, oh, I guess it gives us a spawn uh, that comes with a spawn. Very good. Okay, so we got that, that taken care of. If we die, now we come back to the base. Very good. All right, you guys. Well, um, let's see here. What do we got for... Um, what do we need to make the magnum? Let's look at that next. We have everything we need. Boom. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like the rifle and the magnum for uh, the hunters. Shotgun, shotgun, bow, and pistol for hunting animals, and rifle and magnum for hunters. That's... That's that's what I, you know, kind of my um, MO, I guess, is what you would call it. And we got nine rounds of that. Let's get this sucker loaded up. All right, we're loaded for bear, man. Bear and hunters. Perfect. Okay, so, um, let's see here. I want to know, uh, or I want to see... How many of these we have so we can make another lockpick? That'll actually will be, will be the next thing we need to make. So well, we need another seven fragments to make the next lockpick. Let's put all this stuff, uh, or that stuff rather, back in there. Um, I'm going to put the health health pack here. Um, actually, let's swap those around. Um, because that's something we want to be able to access immediately, you know, if we get, if we get damaged. No, let me rephrase that. When we get damaged. Um, and we'll just have to... We'll just swap out the, the pick and the axe as needed. Let's put the ammo there. And let's grab this. Let's take another drink. Top off the fire there. Oh, we got... Stuff repopping. All right. Awesome. Let's fill that up and get it cooking again. Uh, we might as well check this crate since it's right here in front of our face. More nails. Fan friggin' tastic. We got a we got a nice supply of nails, you guys. We definitely do. Uh, which means we we should start thinking about expanding the base a little bit but you know i don't think i'm going to expand the base until i need to i mean eventually we're going to the plan is to build a really cool base i mean that's kind of our m overriding goal of this whole series to build a cool base on this lake island but 
you know, that's something that's that's not going to happen immediately. It's going to kind of happen gradually over time. And I don't want to um, I don't want to get build too big too fast because then we just have that much more that we have to repair when we get attacked. So we're, we're going to just stick with this, um, you know, two by two until I run out of room and, and then have to expand it at which point in time then we will. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So look at this, 148 nails. For this early in the game, that is a hell of a lot of nails. <coughs> uh, so pretty happy about that. Excuse me. A little something in my throat today. Okay, so we just have to wait for the power and the mass to build back up. Um, uh, Generator is on the list. Plant bed is on the list. Uh, storage things are on the list. <clears throat> and then, you know, eventually the workbench and even animal housing. Animal housing... I mean, we could do it, but then we have to keep them fed, you know, and we're, we're still, I don't know if struggling's the word, but we're not at the point yet where food's no longer an issue for ourselves. We're still, you know, we're still working on that. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't want to have to also deal with an animal on top of, you know, trying to uh, feed myself, uh, but it's definitely going to be worth it later on, particularly for chickens, because then we can get eggs and we can make steak and eggs and all that, um, and it'll be good. All right, you guys. Well, I think this is probably a good point for us to, to wrap things up uh, for this episode. Uh, those rogues are still over there. Looks like those rogues are still there. And then our permanent hunter friends are there. Uh, I'm not seeing any other campfires. So, yeah, it's still, the, the, the other two permanent hunter groups are still at large at this point. So we'll figure out where they are eventually, I'm sure. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And uh, I might do a little bit of off-camera grinding over the next day or two before I bring you back. Uh, but I will definitely bring you back, you know, when we figure out uh, where the other two hunters are. Or uh, if we get into a combat situation, uh, we'll definitely bring you back for those two things. Okay, that's it. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.